PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana one day before Halloween. Today's video is about a recent trip, a whirlwind tour that I took over to Oregon to visit the PWCC slash Fanatics vault and do some filming and record some content and look at my babies. Um, you know, I have seven kids. I'm married. I have seven kids, but I also have 10 children in Oregon that are being held at the PWCC vault. Yes, I'm talking about my tier one Jordans. I got to see those babies. I got to film some really interesting content. I got to see the vault and yes, it is a damn vault. Um, I've got a little more of the story about sharing pictures and videos, but as you know, this is how I do it because I always forget uh, where I've been or what I did and I don't want to leave anything out. So I've got a bunch of photo dumps where I'm just going to roll through some photos and kind of tell you about my little trip over to Oregon. PWCC reached out to me and asked me if I would swing through uh, from Louisiana. Keep in mind, I never travel. I hate flying. Uh, I hate driving. I, honest to God, I just don't travel. And I know some people love that and that's their passion and that's where they spend their money, but that will never be me. It's just not the way I roll. But I uh, am now going to be the guy who went to Phoenix, Chicago, Connecticut, 12 states south of Connecticut on the way back, and now Oregon all within 12 months. That is very, 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 very unusual for me. I hate it. Um, so anyway, this Oregon trip, uh, PWCC reached out. They wanted to film some content, and they said, while I'm there, I can tour the vault. I can look at some of my cards. Uh, they wanted to put some stuff together. And uh, since I'm an affiliate with PWCC, for those of you who don't know, they pay me to refer people to buy and sell on the PWCC marketplace. I've always been as transparent about that as possible. Uh, the relationship existed pre-monetary compensation, and that is why there is monetary compensation, because I used PWCC, the vault, the weekly, the premiere, for three years before I felt comfortable, um, you know, basically naming them best in class. They're the best vault, they're the best marketplace as far as I'm concerned. Um, there's uh, tons of benefits to dealing with PWCC, and for that reason, I felt comfortable um, being an affiliate sponsor with PWCC so a little bit more about that later but here let me just switch over here's the picture so flew out Thursday morning from Baton Rouge uh, here is a picture of uh, of the second leg right so for whatever reason with Delta you got to fly backwards and so I flew from Baton Rouge east to Atlanta and then west and so I went from central time zone to east time zone and then three hour time zones over to Pacific West Coast time so here's a picture of me uh, with uh, my first class seat for the second one, all this leg room. And again, some people are like, what the hell is that thing on your knee? That's a lidocaine patch. I'm old. I've got one really bad right knee. And yes, those are my real legs. I'm sorry. I, I'm not perfect. Uh, that, that's the best I could give you, right? I, I can't use that knee to do very much. So I don't have these big bulging quads. You know, I don't look like uh, you know, uh, Barry Sanders, uh, from the knees down, but that's, that's the best you're going to get. So there's a picture of me on the, uh, on the airplane flying first class for the first time in my life. I'm a pretty simple person. I don't fly that much. There's my first class meal. I didn't realize you get meals. So short ribs. I actually ate these things. Those are actually, I think squash. I don't even know what squash is. I was really hoping it was potatoes, but I was so hungry. It didn't matter. I ate it anyway. Uh, there is a picture of Mount Hood. I thought this was awesome. Uh, we do not have anything that looks remotely like this in Louisiana unless you open a book and look at it. This does not exist. In Louisiana, we don't even have hills, let alone mountains, and that was a pretty picturesque mountain. Um, apparently, it is Mount Hood. I don't know what that is. Mount St. Helens is right there as well, just north of Portland, it sounds like. So as I was flying in, the lady sitting next to me was from Portland. She said, you're probably going to want to get a picture of this and open the window, and there you go. There you go. That is about the best geography picture you're going to get from me uh, on this uh, on this little picture slide. Here's a picture of downtown Portland. Now, it ain't perfect, and I've heard horrible stories about downtown Portland, but it was awesome to look at. I mean, again, all, all I saw was what I saw on the interstate drive south from Portland to PWCC's vault, which is located in a suburb called Tigard, Oregon. It's about 25, 35 minutes south, so it was an easy Uber ride. Yes, I know how to use Uber now. I've become an expert. I can even uh, call my own Uber at the age of 49, so I was proud of myself for doing that. But that's just a kind of a picture. There was bridges everywhere. There's ports everywhere, which someone explained to me is why they call it Portland. Uh, so apparently there are rivers 
rivers that run from Portland all the way to the Pacific Ocean, I guess, is the one on the West Coast, if I'm not mistaken. And so uh, that's just a picture of Portland. There's another picture of Portland from my Uber driver, uh, who is a big Chelsea fan. That's my hotel gym. I just want to take a picture because this was literally the greatest hotel gym ever. Not pictured over there to your left is dumbbells from like 5 to 70. And of course, I need 70s to do wrist curls, you guys know. Uh, but it had anything and everything. And then uh, you're going to get some more pictures of the hotel because I just thought it was cool. Here's a picture of my good guy Brady at PWCC. He was one of the great gentlemen that I met over there. A young fella from Illinois. Uh, also a Jordan fan, a Jordan collector. He uh, is letting us in. This is not the vault, what you see. This is just uh, another PWCC. Uh, this is where the uh, social media and content team, I guess it's the media team. I don't know what they're called. Marketing is what it's called. So the marketing division is there. Really cool building. That's where I spent the majority of my day Friday. Again, I flew in Thursday. It took freaking forever. There's no easy way to get from Baton Rouge to Oregon. And then... We filmed, and I got a tour of the vault on Friday, and then on Saturday, uh, I literally all I did was wait for planes, sit in planes, wait for planes to dock, and you know get a gate, and then fly back to Baton Rouge and get picked up at the airport by Mrs. Cajun. So that was it. That's photo dump number one. Here's photo dump number two. I thought this was cool. This is uh, not a card. It's actually a big canvas where they have uh, superimposed a picture of a Kobe Bryant PMG green card. This is in that building that I just showed you. This is in the uh, the marketing uh, division's building. This is just a Kobe PMG green green and they had a Serena Williams you know exquisite in there they had a couple other cards that were like uh projected on or not projected but printed onto like picture canvases that's about three four feet big so be pretty cool if you're a Kobe fan to have one of those in your house uh this is like when I realized oh shit this is the real deal these people know what they're doing I'm just this amateur hack dude who's 49 years old I'm a real estate attorney not a uh, marketing person not a social media person not really even a YouTube content creator uh from an experience standpoint I'm the dude who clicks record and starts yelling and speaks too fast in a funny Cajun dialect but when I saw this I knew all hell was about to break loose so they literally went click, and then that's how you started each, uh, you know, each little interview thing. We did a little bit of testimonials. We had a little bit of fun doing some trivia. We uh, we did some question and answer. I got to meet the the, the great dudes over on the marketing team, and um, you know, it was probably five or six guys. All of them were incredibly professional, incredibly experienced, super polite, obviously, and uh, just had a blast getting to know those guys and spending literally the entire business day Friday. Uh, working with those guys, taking orders. I told those guys, I'm a soldier. Y'all are the generals. You just tell me what to do, and I'll do my best. Just you know, just know I'm going to tell the truth no matter what you ask me, for better or worse. It's up to you to edit out what you do or don't like. And uh, here's a picture of my 10 grails, right? That's 10. I've actually got another one, which is coming up in a new video that did emanate from uh, the Cross Country Collection. The Star Rubies Team Skybox has been graded. There will be a video coming out on that really soon. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it graded. You have to wait until you see the video. But uh, good news, it, it did uh, better than I expected, which I was really excited about. Uh, but these are the other 10. These are the 10 Tier 1 Jordans that I have in my uh, in my vault. I posted a nice picture of these on Instagram, and there's a better picture, I think, coming up. But that's just me and my hack photo job, so that's not a great picture. Uh, this is kind of a picture of the set. This is just before we... Uh, took a picture of those and did a couple of videos and some cool stuff like that, just some promotional stuff. And they, these guys really, the first thing they asked me was, what can we do to help your channel grow so you can better market for PWCC? And I said, y'all can give me some new pre-roll, right? And so we worked on some new pre-roll stuff. Stay tuned. All of my pre-roll advertise pre-roll, for those of you who don't know, is just like the little intro thing where you get my same how to buy and sell on PWCC over and over. We're going to get some new options in there and get some new uh, high def, some really good audio audio and visual uh, and just clean it up a little bit and just add a little bit of variety. So I think y'all are going to like uh, not having to listen to the exact same ads over and over again. Uh, this is a picture of them kind of doctoring up the picture, making the cards look good, but also my leathery old catcher's mitt of a face in the background look better as well. Um, here's a picture of those 10 grails lined up. Here's a picture that they chose to post on Instagram. So it's cool, but you can see, you know, the vivid imagery. Of course, I still look like an, uh, you know, an old man, but the cards look like, you know, freaking, they're beautiful, right? They look great. The color's great. The detail's great. You know, uh, we were a little OCD challenged because you couldn't set it up to where it was symmetric and you had to end because there's 10 of them. And so you couldn't put them one in front of the other because then you wouldn't be able to see the cards. So we had to stagger them, but then you had one high and one left. And of course that bothers the shit out of me. I wish I'd have had the team Skybox Star Rubies because it would have 
fit very nicely over there on screen right just to the right of the 86 Fleer sticker. Um, but these cards, you, you know, if you guys watch my channel, you know what I have as far as the tier one stuff goes. I do have 11 out of the 27. Uh, the Grand Finale, the Jambalaya, uh, Row Zero Legacy, the other Row Zero Legacy up here, Ultra Stars Gold BGS 9.5, courtesy of my good friend Hayoli Hustle, uh, Eric Myers. I've got the PSA 10 uh, Jordan 86 Fleer base and sticker. Um, and then I've got the PMG Red, the Championship PMG, and then of course the Golden Boss die cut refractor serial number 274 up there in the top right so there's my other 10 children uh, that are being held at bwcc for cajun eternity this is a picture of my hotel room and i almost wish i'd have brought at least one or two of my younger kids because they'd had a blast they got a shuffleboard machine over here uh, and they had little bowling pins on there i guess you can bowl with a little bowling ball as well they had a sit down miss pac-man and dig dug and galaxian they had a ping pong table and then right around the corner here is a golden tea machine there's the golden tea machine right there i don't play golden tea but i know a lot of people my age kind of nerd out and wig out about the golden tea but uh, that was just a golden tea machine they're ready for you to play uh, this is a picture of me coming back and again all of these mountains you see in the background that does not exist in louisiana i cannot stress to you guys how flat my state is uh it's just it doesn't look like that so i know that's not really much for you know the people who live in the 45 other states that have stuff like this but louisiana doesn't have anything like that and here's another picture mountains in the background city down below it's just, just me snapping pictures off the interstate and uh and that's it guys that's really it that was my trip um, again, more content to come soon. Uh, they are going to send me some stuff to kind of proof and to approve, and then I'll share that on my channel. But it was just really flattering and really fun to get out there and get to meet some of the people that I deal with via text on the marketing team. Um, you know, Andrew, my good friend over there who kind of works with me, um, you know, directly threw his back out the day before. So I didn't get a chance to visit with Andrew. He was going to be driving Miss Daisy. He was going to be my chaperone and my uh, kind of liaison over there. But he threw his back out. So, uh, you know, prayers up for Andrew. Hopefully his back heals up. I know what that's like. Been there, done that many times uh, at age 49 as an X2 sport athlete. I know how you feel, homie. So ice it up, take some whatever you need to and get through the day and it'll heal up and get that blood flow going. But, uh, but that's it, guys. Just uh, wanted to throw that out there. The tour of the vault. So the one thing I'll say about the vault, that's really what most people are going to ask about. Um, I was excited. And so uh, we wanted to check it out Friday evening, but they had a hard stop. Like they closed the gates, period. No one allowed past the gate. Uh, and there's a gate about 100 yards out in front of the vault that you've got to get through to get to the vault. Well, they locked that thing up, shut it down at 6 p.m. So I didn't get there on my Uber after my flight landed until about 5.50. So no vault. So we just went out to dinner and got to chill. I got to watch my Bucks beat the Sixers. But the next morning, we did get a vault tour. And I got to meet all the people over at the vault, uh, all of the higher ups, some of the original six employees of PWCC that are still there and uh, the vault is real. <laughs> the vault is definitely real. It's definitely a vault. There was, uh, I don't want to guess on how many feet wide the concrete was that the vault was inside of, but it is a concrete bunker with an 800 pound door and they even made me push the door. It's on an amazing swivel so I could actually move it but this mother was eight feet. It was definitely more than a foot thick. I don't want to say it was two feet thick, but uh, that's what she said. But it was a, a big ass door and it was about, I think they said 750 to 800 pounds. I was not allowed in the vault. Even as an affiliate sponsor, no pictures, no videos. You cannot go in the vault. You cannot touch anything. But it was amazing kind of to walk through the vault and have these guys take me station to station. Uh, and I asked them, I said, show me from point of entry until, you know, you're done and the cards are curated and uploaded and placed into the vault. Tell me the process. Show me the, show me the, I don't want to call it an assembly line because that makes it sound ho-hum, you know, every day. Obviously, some of these cards are million dollar cards, but show me how the process works. And so I got to see it from where the packages come in and those are stationed to the guy that opens the packages to the next guy they hand it off to to the next guy that does the, the you know, high def pictures and how they load the machine. They've got two amazing machines where they can snap pictures of literally, it looked like hundreds of cards. You like, kind of like load it up and then it's like, and it knocks them all out. They've even got AI that helps label the cards. And so they've, it is high tech shit. There is no question about it. I was extremely impressed. There's a really cool all black motif inside that vault area. And again, no pictures, no videos. There are video cameras in every single room. I forgot how many they told me, but it was like over 100 cameras in the vault and in the uh, marketing division building, right? Because cards, my cards, for instance, 
on guard at the front of the vault. The first person I saw, the person that opened the door to the vault, not the vault itself, but the building that houses the vault. It's, so it's a uh, like a vault inside of a building out in the forest, right? Behind a locked gate, about 100 yards in front, maybe 50 yards in front, uh, was an armed guard, literally strapped, bulletproof vest, legitimate like armed guard, security, right? That's who opened the door to let us in the freaking building. And of course, it was me and two other guys from the marketing division who are always allowed in there. But there's cameras everywhere in both buildings, which, and by the way, the marketing building is maybe, I don't know, I don't want to say a quarter mile away. It was probably like 600 yards away, whatever that is. Like it was like I could have walked there if I wanted to, but it was a 20 second car ride across the street, basically. Um, and down a little bit, but uh, there was cameras everywhere because cards will go from, you, you know, they'll go from the vault and then they'll go over to the marketing division so they can shoot content with certain cards just like they did with mine. And so my cards arrived armed guard. My cards were picked up armed guard. Like those cards weren't just like sitting in somebody's truck when they went back and forth. No, it was a real deal. Uh, so they take their job very, very seriously. Um, there's a, a, a tremendous attention to detail. Cards, once they arrive at PWCC, literally, while they're, if you send cards to PWCC to vault or to sell on the weekly, from the time they arrive in a box, they are never not under camera. Everywhere, no matter where they go, what station they go to, there are cameras in every single portion of every single room. And it's really kind of a big open area with cameras all around the top. There is nowhere to hide. There's no, there's no way a, a card can slip into somebody's pocket or whatever. It's all on camera. It was weird. It was like some futuristic deal. So um, it was fascinating to see that. I asked tons of questions. There's a lot of incredible things that are about to happen in the next 90 days. I cannot share all of that with you. Um, you know, I can't get into too much detail, uh, but I promise you I'll share it as soon as I can. The one thing I do want to tell you is I need to remember this because I don't grade with SGC, but they did ask me to pass this along. Hang on, I'm pulling it up right now, and they're about to make a post on Instagram today. It says, listen, uh, and I'll just read you the message. New pricing for the SGC grading deal. These are cards. If you want your cards graded by SGC, raw cards, you can send them to PWCC. They will take your cards upon delivery. They will get them graded at SGC. They will bring them back, and they will put them in your vault and or list them in the weekly auction, whatever your instructions are. It's as simple and straightforward as it could possibly get on the PWCC website. But the new grading deal is... $14 per sports card to grade with SGC if that floats your boat. I'm a PSA guy, I'm a BGS guy, but that's I'm passing along information because I know a lot of people do grade with SGC, especially vintage folks. And then $9 a card for TCG cards. $9 a card. Damn, that's like uh, pre-COVID type stuff. Do you mind resharing? Yeah, okay, so that's what they wanted me to pass along. $14 per card to grade with SGC if you've got a raw card. $9 for TCG with a few asterisks, you know, they don't want you sending $1 cards because you're going to lose your money. That's another thing we talked about. I told them some of the stuff, some of the comments that I get from, you know, from you guys, from viewers on the channel. We talk through some of that question and answer stuff and they're aware. They, they read, right? They hear what people are saying, the complaints they have, the shipping, you know, there was shipping delays. They've gotten much better on that. They've talked about how many people they've hired post Fanatics acquisition. For those of you who don't know, PWCC was acquired by Fanatics. There may or may not be a name change coming in the next 90 days, maybe Q1 2024. That's something that I can tell you is a possibility or a probability or a possibility or probability, whatever you want to make of that. Um, but there's other amazing, incredible things that are about to happen that are going to change the way that I collect for sure. And it's going to make it a lot easier for me to sell PWCC as a vault and as a marketplace to you guys. I wish I could talk about that more, but we will definitely talk about that in the future. Uh, so yeah, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah, I was impressed. Uh, I already had a great impression because PWCC gives me everything I need to do what I do and how I create content. I know vaulting is not for everybody, but if you're going to vault, this is probably the best in class based on my experience. And I've looked into the others. I've communicated with uh, the higher ups at some of the other vaults. And this is the vault for me for sure. Whether it's the interface, the pricing, the ability to transition into the weekly and the premiere. And, and just the fact that this marketplace is so much different than say a marketplace from a competing vault or a competing auction house um you know this is my uh, auction house and vault du jour and uh and it'll stay that way for quite a long time as long as they keep doing their job so uh that's it guys i just want to tell you about my little trip back there uh really it was a uh, one day having fun and meeting everybody and doing pwcc stuff and then it was two days literally either in a plane or sitting on a plane or waiting for a plane i almost missed my connecting flight back to baton rouge which would have killed me because young cajun the youngest one joe 
Mojo had two soccer games Sunday morning. And so I got home uh, just in time Sunday night, woke up Sunday morning, and boom, we hit the soccer fields. And he, of course, destroyed everything in his path. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, just wanted to kind of fill you guys in uh, as a little uh, brief um, break from the cross country collection. Uh, Y'all should be somewhere smack dab in the middle of video four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. I'm not sure when this one's going to come out, uh, but I'm already, uh, you know, 18, 19, 20 videos deep. I've got queued up videos for the cross country collection through uh, more than mid November, and I'm filming about two more this morning. And so uh, you're going to get the same consistency. You're going to get the same quality. You're going to get the same transparency. You're going to get the same speed talking. And, uh, and that's what she's said jokes from me that you've always gotten. I am beyond thrilled to be back in Baton Rouge, ready to hit the grind button. I am hitting the grind button and can't wait to pour through some of these boxes from the Cross Country Collection and share with you right after this. I'm recording right after this, the first PSA grade reveal with uh, 16 uh, cards that were very high in Jordans. I'll give you a hint, 15 of them came back and they are four figure cards based on where they graded. Um, and then one of them is uh, bigger than all the rest. One of them stands out. One card to rule them all, the Team Skybox Star Rubies. Stay tuned for a video featuring that card as well. Number 11 on my list of the Tier 1 uh, MJ Hierarchy cards, as shown on the MJ Hierarchy Project on the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel. By the way, posters are still available. I'm still selling them. I shipped three out today. Uh, sorry, I sent. I shipped six out today. No, I, sh I shipped eight out today in three tubes. So somebody bought three, three, and two. Those are still available. If you want to know how, just direct message me on Instagram. If you don't know what I'm talking talking about go to the playlist Cajun Cardboard's Michael Jordan hierarchy and just start watching from the beginning it's really cool if you collect 90s cards even if it's not Jordan go check it out it might be helpful in the way that you collect uh, 90s cards so that's it guys that's the end of the video I appreciate you guys watching as always I appreciate you coming along for my journey this is my outlet to the hobby and so uh, having you guys engaged back and forth with you guys learning from you guys here's what I want you to do any questions you have about PWCC The Vault, about PWCC The Marketplace, uh, about how you can support the Cajun Cardboard channel, buying or selling through PWCC. That's in my YouTube description. Here's the other thing I want. Ask, put, those comment, put those questions and comments in the comments to this video. I want any questions that you want to ask PWCC, I want them in this video, and I will make sure your question gets to PWCC, and I will get you answers, and I will do a video with the answers to all the questions. That being said, if you've used my affiliate link to purchase cards on PWCC, if you've used my promotional code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, to sell cards on PWCC, do me a favor and comment below so the other people that watch my channel know you had a good experience. I want to know that you, you know, I want them to see there is strength in numbers. Um, and, and I call it like I see it. If there's something that PWCC is doing bad, I'm going to tell you. If there's something that they're doing good, I'm certainly going to tell you. Uh, that's the way I've always been. That's the way I'll continue to be. Um, again, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So comment below, good, bad, use the link, use the promo code. And, uh, and if you've done that, let me know in the comments below so I can legitimize myself to PWCC. They spent all this time with me and f paid for me to fly out to Oregon and stay in a hotel. And uh, I just want them to know it was somewhat worth it. Again, uh, I, I did have a conversation with them. The subscriber numbers for my channel, they're never going to explode. The reason is I'm only talking about a very small segment of the hobby. It's only cards. It's only basketball cards. It's primarily collector type cards, not so much flipper, shiny, ultra modern stuff. Uh, I never talk about hobby drama. I never get into the negative he said, she said, or this company versus that company. I really don't do that stuff um, because I don't think that the people that tune into my channel want that. If you want that, it's so easy to find because it's a bunch of click chasers that are doing that. Go find the click chasers, the gotchas, uh, those folks. If you want to hear the negativity and those people, that's fine. They can go for five figures as subscribers. I don't give a shit. I like the people that listen to my channel. I like the comments. I like the positive aspect of it. I don't have any problem with somebody calling me a positivity pumper. You're damn right because life's all about perspective and mine is that of an optimist and it's never going to change. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry I belabored the point there and uh, went on a little diatribe or a soliloquy or whatever it's called. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. Peace.